dear students under the topic radius of curvature here we have a problem which says that find the radius of curvature of the curve square root of x plus square root of y is equals square root of a at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 where this a is a constant and the curve is given in cartesian equation that is if an equation is given with x and y coordinates then the equation is said to be in the cartesian form so we have to use the radius of curvature formula for the cartesian equation here the radius of curvature is represented by rho and the cartesian formula is given by 1 plus dy by dx the whole square the whole raised to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square so for, if the equation is in the cartesian form then we have to use the radius of curvature formula rho which is equal to this so with this given equation we have to find dy by dx at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 and then d squared y by dx square at the same point and then substitute in this formula and get the radius of curvature from this so let us do that now so as the first step let us take and write the given equation that is root x plus root y equals root a and mark it as equation 1 so first let us find dy by dx for that we have to differentiate this equation 1 with respect to x so first we shall rewrite this equation 1 how can we rewrite it square root of x can be written as x to the power 1 by 2 plus square root of y can be rewritten as y to the power 1 by 2 is equal to square root of a now we shall differentiate this now so when we differentiate x to the power 1 by 2 by using the formula x power n the differentiation of x power n is n x power n minus 1 so using that x to the power, differentiation of x to the power 1 by 2 will be 1 by 2 where the value of n is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 x raised to the power n minus 1 so 1 by 2 minus 1 plus again similarly we have to differentiate y for which it will be 1 by 2 y raised to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 and because we are differentiating with respect to x and we have y here we should differentiate this y again with respect to x for which that is by using the chain rule method we have to do dy by dx is equal to what is the differentiation of root x square root of x is a constant so when we differentiate a constant it becomes zero so the right hand side becomes Zero. Then later, rewriting this one by two x to the power one by two minus one is actually x power minus one by two plus one by two y to the power one by two minus one is minus one by two multiplied with dy by dx is equals zero. Let us uh, so rewrite this even more. So this x power one minus one by two, when it comes to the denominator, it becomes x to the power one by two. And what is x power one by two? It is square root of x. So this turns out to be one by two square root of x plus one by two square root of y multiplied with dy by dx is equal to zero. Now let us take this one by two square root of x to the right hand side. So when it moves to the right side, it becomes negative. So what we are have in the left hand side, we have this. So one by two square root of y dy by dx is equal to. So this moves to the right and it becomes negative one by two square root of x. Now uh, we can take this two square root of y to the right. So it will get cross multiplied and it will go here to the numerator. And so we obtain. dy by dx to be equal to negative 
this comes to the right so negative 2 root y divided by 2 root x so these two gets cancelled and we get this to be negative square root of y divided by square root of x so therefore dy by dx is we will take and write here so dy by dx is equal to negative square root of y divided by root x so this is dy by dx but we want dy by dx at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 as per the question so dy by dx at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 so what does that mean instead of x you have to replace it by a by 2 and instead of y you have to replace it by the y coordinate which is a by 2 so if we replace it here we will get negative square root of a by 2 divided by square root of a by 2 and these two gets cancelled and we get this value to be negative 1 so dy by dx at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 we obtain to be negative 1 so let us have this as it is so that we will substitute it in the formula then we have to find d square y by dx square by using this so we have to differentiate this dy by dx again with respect to x in order to get d squared y by dx square so we shall do that now so i have taken dy by dx which is equal to negative square root of y by square root of x and I have written here. We can rewrite this as dy by dx is equal to negative y raised to the power 1 by 2 divided by x raised to the power 1 by 2. Now we have to differentiate this with respect to x. So differentiating with respect to x. We observe that we have to use u by v method. So what is the differentiation of u by v? The formula is v squared in the denominator. V multiplied with uh, d uh, u by. So uh, we shall have v as it is and du by dx. And then minus u multiplied with dv by dx. So this is this formula we have to use and we have to differentiate this. So d squared y by dx squared will be equal to this negative sign I will have it as it is and in the bracket we have v square in the denominator. What is v x to the power 1 by 2? So x power 1 by 2 the whole square. So we have written this. Now we shall write the numerator v multiplied with what is v x power 1 by 2 multiplied with du by dx u is y power 1 by 2 because this is in the form u by v where u is y power 1 by 2 so we have to differentiate this y power 1 by 2 alone so it will be 1 by 2 y to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 multiplied with dy by dx we have to use chain rule method because we are differentiating with respect to x we have to differentiate this y also and then minus u multiplied with what is u u is y power 1 by 2 so u y power 1 by 2 multiplied with the differentiation of v v is x power 1 by 2 so it will be 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 so this is the differentiation so further we can just simplify this so that will be equal to if you see this 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is common in both the terms so these two terms can be taken out so it will be negative 1 by 2 outside and within the bracket you will be having x power 1 by 2 can be written as square root of x divided by this uh, y power 1 by 2 minus y 1 is actually y power minus 1 by 2 but what is y power minus 1 by 2 in the denominator it becomes y power 1 by 2 and it will become square root of y so i'm just writing y power minus 1 by 2 in the denominator of root x by writing it square root of y multiplied with this dy by dx it will come as it is minus now here you have y power 1 by 2 which can be written as square root of y and x power 1 by 2 minus 1 is x to the power minus 1 by 2 and in the same way it can be written like this the whole divided by this denominator but here we have x power 1 by 2 the whole square which turns out to be x only so this is x so this is d squared y by dx square
now what we have to do we have to substitute uh, a by 2 comma a by 2 at the place of x and y because we are going to find d squared y by dx square at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 so as per the question so that's equal to negative 1 by 2 and within the bracket square root of x so instead of x you will have a by 2 divided by square root of a by 2 multiplied with dy by dx but what is um, dy by dx at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 we have obtained it previously here that is dy by dx at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 is negative 1 so we have got here so this one we have to take and substitute here so it is negative 1 minus again square root of y so square root of a by 2 divided by square root of a by 2 the whole divided by what is x here a by 2 so close the bracket now these two gets cancelled and this also gets cancelled and finally we have this is equal to negative 1 by 2 multiplied with minus 1 and then minus 1 the whole divided by a by 2 and so that will be equal to now what uh, is 1 minus 1 by 2 multiplied with what is minus 1 minus 1 it is minus 2 multiplied by this a by 2 we can uh, write it as 2 by a so uh, what is left out we can see that one of the two gets cancelled and the left out part is negative into negative becomes positive and so d squared y by dx square at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 is um, this becomes positive and it is just 2 by a. So now finally we have to find the radius of curvature which is rho and we know that it is 1 plus d square dy by dx the whole square the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square now we shall substitute here so 1 plus what is dy by dx at the point negative 1 uh, at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 it is negative 1 so this we got previously so we can substitute that here so negative 1 the whole square whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square is this 2 by a that we have obtained so 2 by a so let us simplify this further so on simplifying this actually a uh, negative 1 square is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by 2 by a and this 2 raised to the power 3 by 2 can be written as 2 cube the whole power 1 by 2 multiplied by a by 2 and so that will be equal to what is 2 cube it is 8 and 1 by power 1 by 2 so square root of 8 into a by 2 so further simplifying this what is square root of 8 it is uh, square root of 2 multiplied with I mean uh, 4 multiplied with 2 multiplied with this a by 2 what is square root of 4 it is 2 so this can be written as uh, so rho will be equal to 2 square root of 2 multiplied by a by 2 and so therefore the value of rho will be equal to square root of 2 multiplied with a so this is the radius of curvature of the given curve at the point a by 2 comma a by 4 i'm sorry a by 2 comma a by 2 so this is the solution that we have obtained there is another problem where the same curve uh, they have asked us to obtain the radius of curvature for the same curve at the point a by 4 comma a by 4 now this we solved for a by 2 comma a by uh, a by 2 so at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 this is the radius of curvature for the given curve there is another problem in which they have asked us to find the radius of curvature at the point a by 4 comma a by 4 so in a similar way what we have to do is we have to write this dy by dx which is negative square root of y by root x so at the point a by 4 comma a by 4 what it will be negative square root of a by 4 divided by square root of a by 4 and so again this will be negative 1 so this is negative 1 as in the previous problem but what about d square y by dx square at the point so d square y by dx squared at the point a by 4 comma a by 4 
so which will be equal to negative 1 by 2 so here it will be square root of a by 4 by square root of a by 4 and what is dy by dx it is negative 1 so that is uh, uh, that will come as it is so square root of y is square root of a by 4 comma square root of a by 4 the whole divided by x but what is x it is a by 4 so now these two gets cancelled and in the similar way this will be negative 1 by 2 multiplied with negative 1 minus uh, this also 1 divided by a by 4 and so that will be equal to negative 1 by 2 multiplied with what is negative 1 negative 1 it is negative 2 and this when uh, we put it into multiplication it becomes 4 by a and so this and this gets cancelled and negative and negative becomes positive and here we have 4 by a and so this is uh, d square y by dx uh, square at the point a by 4 comma a by 4 now radius of curvature rho will be equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square now in this formula we have to substitute uh, what we have obtained dy by dx we obtained to be negative 1 so square the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square is 4 by a and so this will be equal to this is 1 plus negative 1 square is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 to the power 3 by 2 multiplied with a by 4 as we did in the previous problem but this 2 power 3 by 2 can be written as 2 to the power 3 the whole squared multiplied with a by 4 but what is 2 cube it is 8 so square root of 8 so that's equal to square root of 8 multiplied by a by 4 but square root of 8 can be written as uh, square root of 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied with a by 4 so uh, square root of 4 will become 2 so this will be equal to 2 square root of 2 multiplied with a by 4 so this 2 and this 4 gets cancelled and we have 2 here and so we will be having i will write here rho to be equal to a square root of 2 divided by 2 and this can be further uh, cancelled because 2 can be written as square root of 2 multiplied with square root of 2 so one of the square root gets cancelled and we will be left out with a by square root of 2 and so the radius of curvature uh, is a by square root of So this is the radius of curvature that we obtain for the given curve at the point a by 4 comma a by 4. So this is another answer that is at the point a by 2 comma a by 2 the radius of curvature is square root of 2 multiplied with a. At the point a by 4 comma a by 4 the radius of curvature is a by square root of 2. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.